Martine, welcome. We'll be talking about OSM, Utah Goes Mall Micromapping. Yeah, thanks, Maggie. Um, so I run OpenStreetMap Utah. I've been running OpenStreetMap Utah since 2011 um, with monthly meetups, um, not every month, but most months. Um, we do collaboration with state and local GIS agencies as well. Uh, and we also plan to host an OSM day at next year's Utah State GIS Conference. We have a Slack channel, we have a meetup group. Um, I wish we had an e event dashboard like Wikipedia does, um, but uh, that's not what I'm gonna talk about today. We're gonna talk about mall mapping uh, with an app called Every Door. Uh, Every Door is a relatively new uh, appearance in the OpenStreetMap contrib contribution tooling um, system. Uh, it's an open source uh, app created by a community member uh, and uh, Ilya. Uh, who has been talking about this in um, at the State of the Map 2022. A link is in the slides. And it has different modes for businesses, addresses, and general micro mapping. So it's, it makes it pretty easy to orient yourself around and, and see what businesses are already mapped while you're out in the field. And, uh, uh, and it makes it easy to add details to existing businesses or add new ones. So we thought we'd take it uh, to the mall and um, to do some micro mapping. So what do we, what do we consider micromapping? Basically go where no map has gone before, right? So add those details that are on no other maps that interest you and that you think should be on the map and, and, and fall within the purview of, of OpenStreetMap. So that can mean trees, shrubs, plants, um, uh, defibrillators, fire extinguishers, dog poop, bag dispensers, ball pits, um, indoor and 3D mapping is also I think a good example of micromapping. Um, so there's a bunch of examples. There's a lot of niche sort of communities that that, that busy themselves with all these different kinds of ma micro mapping. Um, the indoor one is the really logical next step for me to get get interested in because um, that's what malls usually are. Uh, here are some interesting examples of what micro mapping can can lead to in terms of a detailed uh, map. I think the left example is from from Chile. The right example is from. Uh, from Japan, it looks it, it leads to not only a very usable map for very specific purposes, but also a beautiful, beautiful looking map if you like busy maps like this one, <laughs> which I do. Um, so what, what do we do? Uh, we had two separate mapping parties uh, in two different malls in the Salt Lake City area where I'm from um, and where we organize our meetups. Uh, on the first mapping party in October, we added 170 added or edited 170 points of interest, 117 uh, points of interest in the Fashion Place Mall, which is just south of Salt Lake. Uh, the second one, which was just the way the day before yesterday, we, we mapped 63 points of interest. This was a little more difficult one. Um, I go into a few of the pros and cons of micro mapping with every door in the last uh, slide uh, that is coming up right now. Um, so, what what are our conclusions from micro mapping? I think it's overall it's really fun and rewarding to go out with a group of people and actually survey things on the ground. Um, every day is, every door is a little bit quirky, but great overall. Um, and I think a big takeaway from this is a, a good looking map is not not necessarily a good map. A lot of the points of interest that we had were out of date or didn't exist or were in the wrong uh, position. So a lot of stuff needed updating. And OpenStreetMap for that purpose needs eyes on the ground and people go out, going out and doing stuff like this. So uh, to, um, a few specific conclusions about sort of the usage of this Every Door app. I think the main thing was all of us were, were new to the app, but were able to use it fairly quickly. Uh, and that I think is the biggest, uh, the biggest um, sort of positive of this. Like it's, it's maybe a little quirky looking, but you, it's easy for even fairly non-technical people to get, get into. Malls are tricky. Uh, there's poor GPS in indoor malls and there's a lack of sort of orientation. Where are you in, in relation to stuff that, you, that is much easier outdoors, um, especially when there's existing uh, uh, points of interest that you see on the map in the, in the app that are not in the right, not in the right location. Um, the phone screen also for that reason is really a little bit too small for a dense environment, an information dense environment like a mall. And then uh, the, what the app does is the dynamic renumbering of the points of interest that you see on the screen uh, can be a little bit confusing. So if you want to talk more about micro mapping in malls and uh, learn more from our experience, I, uh, I'd love to hear from you and, um, and let you uh, get you on your way with this, with this fun way of micro mapping. Thanks.